Hello everybody, it is Anaconda Squeeze. We are back here in Skyrim, the PS4 edition. Uh, I have made a terrible mistake. I've made a huge mistake. I've made a huge mistake. I've made a huge mistake. Oh, so, once again, another mod that I had done a little review of in the past and then later realized I completely fucked up and missed a huge gigantic part of it which makes it so much better than I thought it was. Uh, I am doing the cheat mod made by the real Eleonora, and this has got to be one of the most handy, most useful mods I have ever come across, and I came across this part by accident, because I'm an idiot. Um, so when I showed it off, I let you know that in Whiterun, there were these chests here, the satchel, and these two little lock boxes on top, and they give you, like, all of our ingots, and this one, all of the ore, and this one, all the ingredients up here, like, just all of, like, the crafting stuff. Really, really awesome, super handy on its own, all the crafting stuff. Uh, what I failed to notice is around here, there is a trap door. Now, uh, this trap door is super handy, amazingly useful. Um, I found it by accident because I was wandering around when I still had it turned on, and I was like, oh crap, look cool, a trap door to the War Maiden's basement. But no, it's not. It is the editor's smoke test cell. So, what this does is you come down here, creepy, dingy little dungeon. This is a water pit here with nothing really down it. It looks like something should be down here, it just isn't. This has so many cool things in here. We're going to get to these ones later, we'll come to that. Just starting from here, here's all the keys we're going to need. Now there is a bit of lag on some of these chests, just because they have so much stuff, like all these keys. Now these ones here, um, ten, just from what I've looked at, seem to have all the stuff like this first little room is all the stuff from the DLCs so it's got all of the like Dongard armor like the vampire armor like stuff like, like it's got everything there's all the ammo this is all of our weapons it's, hopefully this one's a little bit smaller yeah so every version of the Stalrim Warhammer like possible is there and then it goes the battle axe like it's just every possible version including vanilla versions here is just located in this chest and it goes on like anything you possibly which kind of it's really handy if you are trying to make a very specific playthrough um, I used this when I was going back to the Dark Shadow Arena just to make sure I got all the masks I need and was able to grab some of the weapons that I need just to spawn some stuff in really really handy so once you come down this little hallway here we've got forge we've got all the pods and chanting tables look at these little fun little things so cute but yeah, once you come down here, the walls you'll see are just lined like every skill book in the game, every spell tome, all the books. Like this is insane. Like when it says all enchanted armor, this one is lag city. Like don't open this one unless you absolutely need to. It has every enchantment for every kind of armor. So you look at you skip through like 70 fucking things for like iron armor and then it just goes down we got all of our jewelry, all our standard armor without enchantments, keys, miscellaneous items. And then, like, same thing on this side. Potions, scrolls, ingredients. It's insane. Like, some of this stuff is so crazy. Uh, if you come into this little room, this weird little door here, just walk right through it. Come down here. There's two chests in this room. Uh, I can't remember what these ones are. These are the Dawn Guard items. And then these are the Dawn Guard weapons. Like, so just so much stuff in here. Like, if you were looking for a certain item and you don't want to be bothered by going through the playthrough or you just want to get as many of it as possible, this is the mod for you. Really, really handy. But that's not why I like it. This has another room here, which I find so much fun. First of all, I want to get rid of this stuff here. So you have these two buttons here. This button, I believe... I can't activate it because I already have. So I believe it's this button here gives you all the shouts in the game besides the ones that you need from the story mode. So you're not going to get like the unrelated shout, the clear skies, but uh, you can get, like you're going to get all these, you get disarm, fire breath. Um, I got the throw voice one. No, I did get the throw voice one. Basically you just get a ton of goddamn things. Like so much stuff. So many shouts. This one here gives you a bunch of runes and a bunch of smoke things, like the smoke conjuration. But fuck those two, those two aren't very important. This is the place that I love. This is insane. Um, I talked about when I did the Shadow Arena mod, 
that I wanted to like kind of put things against each other. Like I wanted to see how like my armor held up to ten dragons or like something like that. Like I wanted to make things fight. I wanted kind of an arena. This is essentially our arena here. Now it doesn't do dragons just because it's simply not big enough, but you've got what is it? About eight things here. Seven. Some of these little things, and each one, once you go in, it lets you select something to spawn. <laughs> so we'll go through a few things here. Now, the only bad part is any of the humanoid things do have the ability to open up that door. So they can come out. So definitely watch out when you're spawning. You're not, like, immune. So right now we have to we choose from the Seeker, Seeker 1 Mirror, Seeker 2, Seeker 2 Mirror, 3, and 3 Mirror. So let's do the 1. And we're also going to spawn the Mirror for the 1. So perfect that you can see them right there. Just a big bunch of assholes. But it's okay. We're gonna make them fight something else. Now we in this one, this is the second one here. We have Ash Bond 1, 2, 3, Ash Guardian, a Burnt Spriggan, Thakid, I don't know, or a Werebear. So we're gonna just we're gonna stick a Werebear in here and just let him fight. And because we don't want him to be alone. You could do a Netch, Bull, Calf, Cow, a Level Cultist, the Mirac Cultist 1 or 2. Like, so many crazy things. Let's stick a Bull in here. Oh, there's that Werebear. Alright. Nope, you know what? We're going to punch him to death. Dick. We are using our Acro... Just didn't hold the Azeroth. Whatever, we're using our good, good armor here. Uh, the fourth one here is Dwarven Sphere, Dwarven Sphere 2, Centurion Fight 3, or the Centurion Boss. So I'm just going to keep spawning things in here, and we'll see what happens. Then the fifth one, we've got the Benthic Lurker, Horker Youngling, Horker King, Mud Crab, and the Mud Crab Boss, also known as Old Salty, who I am just a huge fan of. Um, another one I really like from this one is the Horker King. He is just massive and angry. Let's see, do we do this one here? Let's get another Dutch. Now it seems like they don't want to, the animals don't seem to want to fight each other here. But let's get a lurker going in there. Alright, so we got a reclaim melee one, reclaim missile one, melee two, missile two, melee three, missile three, a boar, and then this one down here, which I think is chief. I think that's the chief over there. Either way. Silly werebear. And I've gone the same one. Well, we'll get a... Let's get a boar one in here as well. Down the aft we have a wraith, boar, a bristleback, frost giant, and a spectral dragon. The spectral dragon is the only one I have not had work so far. We'll click it here. Nothing's gonna happen. So instead we'll get a frost dragon cord in here. So just, I'm having a great time with this. I love the fact that we can just watch things fight here. Like, we can see just who's going to do great. And then, like, you know what? We can always test out our armor. Let's see how good our armor is when it comes to these things. Who can we take on? Anyone? Armor is way too good. They don't stand a chance. Yeah, you bastard. Snatches. But yeah, guys, like, I I find this mod to be awesome now. Like, I I said it was useful in the past, but it is killing it right now. I'm excited. I like it. I like the whole thing. I like everything about it. Let's get a calf in here. And a dwarven spear. We'll see what happens here. I know they're going to end up shooting me, though. And so we'll put another Horker King inside. And a bristleback. I'm just gonna keep putting like random little things in here. I'm just really, really enjoying all these things fighting all the time. Oh no, an Ash Guardian! Oh. <laughs> 
just a bunch of angry shit fighting each other. Yeah, so I'm really, really enjoying this mod here, guys. Like, this is fantastic. Um, now, it doesn't have all the things. Like, there's definitely missing stuff. Like, you can't spawn a giant. Uh, we can't get bears in here, wolves, stuff like that. Like, there's definitely stuff missing, and that's kind of the ultimate mod I'm looking for right now, just so I can spawn in. Like, I want a big arena. I mean, I want to spawn in 10 dragons and see how long it takes for this armor to wear down. But this is a very, very good second. I do not mind this one bit. Let's kill these things off here. Okay, so yeah, guys. So, I'm only human. I will make sure that anything that gets, any mods that do get updated, or if I do realize I'm missing a key part of a mod here, definitely let me know. And I'm not below updating these like videos here. I want to make sure you guys have as much information as possible. I will be putting the link to this mod in the comments below as well as a link to the original video so if you want to see me go through everything there but yeah guys so if you found this helpful at all make sure you subscribe and like this video i'm gonna keep popping these things out every day at least one video so yeah i'll see you guys fucking later bye